morning. I'm Queen Barbara from Nazareth, and you're watching The Ten Show with Bill Henley and Liliana Vasquez. Including, it is stylist Nick Arojo, next with must-have hair products to make you look fabulous. We'll be right back. Nothing like getting beauty advice from an expert, and that's especially important when it comes to your hair. You've seen him working his magic as the former hairstylist for TLC's What Not to Wear. Please help me welcome Nick Arojo to the Ten Show. Thank Hi, you. Nice Thank you for you. being here. Thank I'm you. so excited to meet you. I was a huge fan of the show. I still am, and I'm so excited that you're standing right here. Yeah, it's <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Now, your hair looks nice too. Oh. You did That's a great a job. Co- Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so yes, I did it myself. Now, I have a question for you. What have you been doing since the show? What are you up to now? Well, I'm really busy. The show was just a part-time job for me. I have my own studio. It's a big salon. I have 100 staff. I have my own education school, a big education center. I teach hairdressers from all over the world. And uh, I do a lot of platform work, education work. I'm always in front of thousands and thousands of hairdressers. And I have my own product line. So I'm a really busy You're hairdresser. You're a really busy guy. Yeah. And you're hair looks so good for someone that's so busy, but you're a hairstylist, so I've, it should, right? I've still got it. <laughs> you totally do. Now, I have a question. When I watched the show, I always wondered, was there anybody that yeah. really yeah. hated yeah. their hair, that maybe so pretended they liked it on like camera, and how do you deal with that? Well, the first thing that you learn is you learn how to smile when people get really upset, <laughs> okay? Because you have to smile through it when they're really in trauma. Exactly. But I think a lot of the time, it's just the shock and the scare, right. and something that's new, because they're on the show for a reason. Exactly. So when they get something new it's a complete change for them and usually once we start talking because they don't get to see it so they get that Mm -hmm. big wow factor right but when we start talking and they slowly start to look at themselves through a new pair of eyes what I start to see is I start to see them relax and they Mm -hmm. slowly start to turn into maybe this isn't so bad exactly so it's a big shock factor but then they usually I would say 95% (laughs) of the time really love it however every now and again you did get a person that really couldn't Just handle the change. Hate it. Well, I loved all the makeovers you did, and I you use a lot of your own products. So what sure. did you bring us here today to kind of help fix our bad hair days? Well, you know, holding spray on fine hair like this, this mm-hmm. is what a lot of people have. They have fine, weak, right. you know, kind of limp hair, and to give it a little bit of hold to stop it from falling all over your face. So we have a really nice light. It's called our holding spray. It adds sheen, and it puts this little bit of hold right through the front of the hair. It's non air so when you spray the hair, you got to kind of keep keep it away just and let it <laughs> settle. Yeah, not, not on you. Let it settle. And then that'll just lightly hold it away. And the difference with a non-aerosol from as opposed to an aerosol, what happens is you can easily rake your fingers through it later so right. you're not fixed with your hair. So you don't get like that, that sticky hairspray feeling with There's, this product. You see, I just sprayed the hair. I love and now that. you can just run the fingers through and the memory and the holding spray and even the sheen is going to help that fine weak hair to stick together. Perfect. I love that. I love the flexible hold. Very, very key. Now, what do you have here if we're looking to maybe add a little bit more lift to our hair? Well, volume is one of the number one requests for most clients. They all want lift and they yeah. all want <laughs> volume. So our number one product is the Erosio Volume Foam. Okay. And what we do with the volume foam is you have to take about two pumps and you literally, the most important thing is how do you apply Apply the volume foam. You got to rub it through. Okay, so you rub it in your hands rub first, it in your not hands just first. put it a big glob of it on your head. The best thing about a volume <laughs> foam is you can put it where you want it, and you got to put it right into the root. Okay. If you put the volume foam into the root and then blow dry it, or heat style it, or even finger style it, it's going to add that oomph and it's going to add that volume. Very and the cool. fact that it's a foam means that it's really easy to work through the hair, and it really helps to put that support in. Because if you use the wrong product. It'll weigh the hair down. So you and want something that's going to lift up and be lightweight like this foam. And it's got to go right in at the root. Right Correct. in at the roots. That's the key. Okay, and then what is this product here? Because I know a lot of women have one of these in their home. Well, we're working with, with, uh, with, a, with a flat iron, mm-hmm. you know, in a different way now. And this is a new flat iron. It's slightly thicker, and it's got more curved edges. Oh. And we actually use this flat iron to create waves in the hair. Wait, you didn't use a curling iron? No, you we just use used the flat iron. iron. Basically, you grab the hair. Yeah, show and me you because twist I've never it. seen this. So you twist it, you lock it, 
and then you press, okay. you twist and you lock, and then you press. Mm -hmm. So, like, instead of getting a volume curl, right. you get a flat wave, so it's a little bit more beachy, but it's very well done. And this is the look that I just saw all over the VMAs, and even at Fashion Week, that's kind of that soft, beachy, just freshly tasseled it's look. It's undone, yeah. done hair, but you have to use a thermal protector, because whenever you're working with any kind of a hot appliance, mm -hmm. you want to use a thermal protector to keep the condition in your hair. So does this product go on wet hair or dry hair? Put it onto wet hair, dry the hair in, and then work it through. And that's going right. to protect from the heat, and it's also going to pre protect from the sun, too. So keep away the split ends and the dry dull hair. That's a great one for you. Good. I'm going to leave all these products uh, for you. Please do. <laughs> and then what is our last product here? Well, to protect your color, seal and shine, seal and shine drops. And what we wanted to do, she's got this beautiful blonde, Love but this. she's got different tones, like yourself, mm -hmm. in the blonde. So the seal and shine drops helps to give you smoothness, silkiness, but it also helps to protect and retain the color. Because you don't want, if you've invested a lot of money in coloring your hair, it can be very expensive. And you don't want it to have it washed down the sink. Now, so, is this product good for all hair types? It's great for especially thick and okay. medium hair. For fine hair, you'd be very sparingly with it. Okay. The fact that it comes in a small bottle, you see it's a nice That's small fine. bottle, what happens is it means you're only going to use a couple of drops. Got it. So now tell us why you're here in Philly, because we're so excited to have you. Well, I'm really into education. I have a great relationship with Empire, which is the number one beauty school organization in the country, and we're celebrating their 100th school opening. So we're really excited to be here, and we're going to be there. We're judging a competition. We're welcoming people into the school to have a look, looking maybe for a career change. You know, people can come down, learn all about cosmetology, and I'm really excited. We're going to meet about 400 students that are coming in from all over the country to celebrate the 100th school opening. I love that. I love that at this point in your career, you're still helping other aspiring stylists. Thank you so much for being My here today. Pleasure. And that event is today from 12 to 4. You bet. Okay. I'll be there. Nick, pleasure to have you on the TED Show. Thanks for having us. We'll See you be next right back. Time.